Welcome to Rauta. This video is done in commercial collaboration with our sponsor Steelfest. Black metal hails from Finland. This time it's all about a long timer band, one of the most active uh, Finnish black metal bands from Finland. This is Azaghal, a dwarven king from Tolkien stories, but this band has very, very little to do with Tolkien. Anyway, this is the latest album from 2023. Altarimme on Luista Tehty, which is our altar is made of bones translated from Finnish to English. And this one features some nice, kind of a ghastly, uh, ominous cover, some kind of a sinister feeling to it. I like it. So the colors are fantastic and this booklet is thick, featuring lyrics and band photos. So basically everything you need to have in order to justify a physical copy. Now, those of you who have been following Finnish black metal scene, are already familiar with Azaghal style. It's very, very 1990s oriented, not exactly the first wave, but then again, there is nothing modern about it. N even not with this this album, which features a new lineup. I mean, since some previous albums, if you're comparing the, you will feature, you will feel and hear the uh, newer vocalist as well as some other things, I mean, the drummer has been in the band for quite some time, but there's only one original member, and that is Mr. Nargath, Nargwath, uh, the guitar player, the the soul, the backbone of the band, and uh, other parts are nearer than that. However, Azagal is kind of a machine that doesn't really stop or, you know, start <laughs> changing suddenly too much. Now, this is a band that me and the band kind of a house and have an interesting history together. Uh, not so much as like like we're best buddies or anything like that, or not that I have been part of the band in any way, but I mean, I've, be, I've been known the guys from, you know, late 90s when a lot of Finnish people were on, you know, IRC channels, like, uh, like we had this black metal channel. And obviously I got to know a lot of these guys over the years and seeing the lineup changes and all that stuff, and also partly because I have always been this nasty review guy, more or less, not exactly slandering, but never being very, very positive about the band. There's even a joke in the city of Hyvinga, which is also the home base for Steelfest, that Rauta is the same guy who always gives Azagal 7 out of 10, more or less. Might be 7.5, might be 6.5, but more or less, something kind of a seven. This is a kind of a, almost like an ongoing joke. And why I'm mentioning this, I feel this album is definitely a seven. So that being said, let's tune in for this album. Now, mind you, Azekal history is a long one. I mean, if you really take a look at it, first founded in 1995, but technically speaking, Azekal has been active since 1998 with the given moniker. Now that's 25 years, so it's a long time, and there's plenty of EPs, plenty of splits, and also plenty of full albums. The band has always been very, very active, which is, in my opinion, a really cool thing. They have been, you know, touring and all that stuff, but never actually got to the level of the biggest bands from Finland in terms of uh, black metal. I mean, talking about Archgold, Horna, Satan, Quarmaster and the like. Asagal never kind of got there, and there, in my opinion, a couple of reasons. First of all, not that active maybe in touring and also there's something about the music quality why i have been a little bit kind of a how to put it nicely <laughs> i have never been too much like wow asical is making new album wow it's gonna blow my mind and all that stuff then again i have uh, similar issues with a lot of horror releases so this is something that it's probably, the problem is my end, not there. If you like the band, wow, good for you. I'm really happy and all that stuff. But Azagal is a kind of a band that is almost close of, you know, like ready to break and break out from the, you know, cage and just conquer the world. 
except it's not really doing it. And I think I'm one of the hateful guys who are going to say it out loud. There are probably a lot of guys who feel the same way about the band. I mean, it, it's not like Azagal is often praised. The thing here is, it's not a bad band. I think they have like one very, very mediocre album, Codex, Necro, whatever. Uh, but the rest of it is very, very listenable. It's, I mean, it's kind of uh, enjoyable to certain degrees. There's nothing, you know, wrong with the band as such. Whenever Azaghal gets on stage or whatever you put it in your, I don't know, CD play or whatever. I mean, it's very, very much like, like, yeah, this is some old school black metal. Old school, I mean, like 1990s kind of stuff. So it's something that is kind of a pro-made. You have the riffs, the style, the vocals, the drums. There's nothing wrong with it. But is it going to make waves like a lot of those classic albums? Not so much. Now, then again, that's a problem with a lot of old veteran bands. I mean, I could drop a list of names which have done worse albums like Gasakal. Did anyone mention Mayhem? Yes. That's a good example how Asakal's very steady 7 out of 10 is better than a lot of Mayhem releases. But then again, these are also matters of taste. I'm not gonna say this as, a, as an excuse. I'm just pointing out that there is a reason why some albums are more like classics and some bands are not able to maintain the level. Did I mention Satyricon? You know, if Asakal is like that, Satyricon is like that. <laughs> so you get the point. Now, enough of this chit chat and let's focus on the album. This is from 38 minutes, 11 tracks. Very, very basic, like 3 to 4 minutes on average. And this one album is quite fast. It's pretty straightforward. There is nothing surprising on the album. Maybe except for the rather polished sound. I mean, it's kind of a, like overproduced, I guess, to some people because it sounds like kind of a clean... I mean, it does sound like a black metal album, but it's almost like the drums are so polished and nicely made that you could imagine the drummer being a death metal dude playing on a black metal album. When you get to the uh, vocals and the riffs or guitar sound, whatever, everything's like, yeah, it's it's a saga, both good and bad. The vocalist does fine job. I cannot say great because there's nothing like, wow, I'm gonna draw my jawbone on the floor and be wondering like, what the hell is going on? I mean, they are done very, very nicely. But then again, there is nothing surprising. It's like black metal vocals, black metal style. It's almost like you're having vanilla ice cream. What do you expect? It's gonna sound and taste like vanilla. Does vanilla sound like anything? I don't know. That's beside the point. The point is, this is a kind of a basic black metal album, both good and bad. Bad in the sense, there's nothing surprising, nothing new, nothing original, nothing out of ordinary. Nothing is something that you're gonna be humming about. And that's the major flaw of Azagal. It's not a major flaw, but you know what I mean. Like somebody was commending me to this album when I was reading in my Finnish written review, like, like you're describing a very boring black metal. I said like, no, that's not what I mean. It's not a boring black metal, but it's a kind of a common black metal. There is nothing that really sticks out. There's, there's no song that is like, you know, the freezing moon by Mayhem or, you know, things like that. And that's one of the problems. There are no highlight moments. Everything just goes smoothly. It's fast and it's aggressive. And there are parts when, you know, like the first song, which is probably the best also, you know, you kind of, a, for a while, you're kind of like, yeah, now this is going to be a banger until it kind of like becomes that, not dull, but something in the middle. So once again, I'm trying to describe you how 7 out of 10 album feels like. It's very listenable. It's very kind of a cool, <laughs> kind of a cool. The point here is, it's not that great as I was hoping it to be. It's not the worst of Hazagal, it's not the best of Hazagal, it's just one of those albums that is just so easy to listen and forget, unfortunately so. Um, probably something that works out better when they are on stage. So I'm gonna say it, I have nothing, absolutely nothing against the band. I actually like the guys, they are cool dudes and uh, I'm kind of happy to know them, you know. But when it comes to the riffs, I guess I'm just expecting too much. I know there are lots of bands that fail to reach this particular level, but every now and then there also comes a new band which just goes way beyond. And that's kind of a sorry thing to say, but hey, it is what it is. But the good news is, and I want to end things in positivity because I'm a fucking positive guy, you know? 
The good thing is, if you like previews as Agal albums, you're probably going to love this one. Why so? Because it doesn't let you down. It's as trustworthy as the rock near to you. You cannot break it, not easily, and it is just what you expect it to be. Rock is supposed to be rock, and as Agal is that. So get ready to rock and listen to some as Agal. Don't listen to old guys like me babble random shit and all. So, what are you waiting for? Why aren't you buying and owning this album? And if you are, good for you. And if you're not, well, go and listen. Maybe you're in for a treat. And if you are not positively surprised, like, how come nobody warned you? That's you being served. Take care and uh, see you soon with more reviews coming over. And, mind you, if you have the album, if you have already listened to it, remember the comment on the comment box below and we'll get back to you. We being me, both hands, <laughs> both ends of my brain. See ya and uh, stay tuned, stay metal. Bye bye.